Are there any questions? Let's open it up to questions. I'd like to kind of address any questions or concerns that people, and it doesn't have to be about our portfolios. It can be about investing market conditions in general. Anyone have any questions? How much real impact do international events like war have on the market? Oh, a lot, I mean, primarily because, I'll use a good example. So the earthquake in Japan, right? Supply chain, you know, when we talk about, oh, you know, Japanese, you know, automakers or different people, a lot of them are affected because of the supply chain. So you may have, you know, the end user on an iPhone, for example, you may have 35 different people that all manufacture or supply products that are inside of your iPhone or your vehicle or whatever. They're not just coming from that one company. So it affects them a lot. And it's important to make sure that when we're out there doing due diligence with Morningstar and Transamerica, we make sure we take all of those things into account. So it, can, it means a lot. When something happens, let's say in Syria or someone else, and, and it affects the price of gasoline and, and production, all of those things are affected. But that's not your, your job is to go out and, and you know, and make, make a paycheck, right? You don't want to have to worry about all that. That's why this is such a unique solution is because you don't have to worry about that. We do. That's our responsibility. So, does that answer your question? What else? Okay, the last one here, I'll get, this will be 30 seconds, I promise. I mentioned the strategic investor and then I mentioned the investor that likes to kind of move around a little bit, right? The not the buy and hold person who maybe likes to have a little bit more, you know, um, leeway. We also have another product that is, this is actively managed, meaning that we will take and we will chase momentum in any certain direction to try to give you returns. But the nice thing about this, if anyone here is, has used bond funds or, or receives income from any of their investments, this pays high levels of monthly income. Now what's nice is if the market is not growing, you know, GDP, we don't have GDP growth, you know, the s and is flat for the year, chances are your portfolio is not gonna grow that much, right? However, if you're receiving dividends um, on a monthly basis, you reinvest those dividends. If you're not taking them in cash, purchase more shares, you can grow that way. So it's not organic growth, but it is growth. And this is one that, we, that we've developed. Um, very different from the asset allocation model that's strategic. You saw that snapshot of all of those funds. This will move all over the universe, all over the, the you know, ETF universe uh, to try to get your returns and more importantly, to try to get high levels of monthly income in case there isn't growth. So the first one, again, the buy and hold for the buy and hold investors that need to be invested. This is, this is one that's unique. It's a different solution. But it, the, the objective is the same, right? To grow your money to help you retire. So, all right? Yes? Uh, you're, when you list the top five U.S. stocks by style, uh -huh. um, have you seen a huge change from year to year? Absolutely. Or is this overall, Absolutely. you know, a good, I mean, you know, is Pfizer, how, how long have they been in the, the top five for the large cap value? Or um, two, a couple is it just a drastic change from year to year? A couple of quarters. Uh, so what happens is, I'll go back to that piece, um, you'll see that actually change quite a bit. We only put this piece out on a quarterly basis. Mm -hmm. However, these holdings will change pretty significantly. Now, what you need to understand is Pfizer is a, is a percentage of the total portfolio assets. Right. So that is a position inside one of those funds that I covered earlier. Mm -hmm. um, so it's... I was they just curious if they were, yeah, you know, we, if we, some of these you always saw, you know what right. I'm saying? You bet. As a, you there know, will be. If somebody there. doesn't know anything about it, and I go, sure, I use, you know, uh -huh. Pfizer, you know, prescriptions or wherever they're manufactured, you know, was that somebody that I would feel comfortable if they were always in the top, you know, five? Or, the one you know, the up here along the top, that's where you're going to see more consistency, the reason being okay. those are your large cap, right. cash right. rate blue chip companies. So, okay. all right. Just, uh, I, yeah. I, I know our time is short, but I'll say in 10 seconds. You know, Pfizer is a great company, wonderful, strong company. You did not want to own Pfizer when we were doing the right. doing the healthcare legislation because yeah. they didn't know how much the drug, the money was going to be cut to all these drug companies and the stocks all tanked. Uh -huh. So that's their job so as managers. I mean, yeah, no, they sold. Right. They sold. <laughs> you don't want to, you don't want that risk because the government can come in and say, this is how much we're going to pay for this healthcare and the amount of money they make goes. And the flip so, side, that's the ideal time. That's when we want to add it to your portfolio. Right. After a fall. After right. Undervalued. So, yep. you know, when everybody's scared out, it's going to fall. And then, you know, once the risk is known, then I add it back in. So, so be, nothing, be, yeah. nothing is viable forever. To be right. Back to Absolutely. If something's not, if, if that's not where we want to be, you know, financials or something, you're not going to see a whole lot of financials. I just didn't know if there was any. That's a great question. Great yeah. question. Is there 
there any consistency out there? Just like gas prices. Right, right. Um, did you state that the minimum investment was one thousand dollars? Uh huh. Or five hundred if you're doing fifty dollars a month. And I'm quite sure it's tax right off, right? I don't speak any tax sort of. He's the tax manager. Right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that depends. That's the only answer. That you have. Right. And every situation is if different. You're contributing right. to a retirement plan, yes. Yeah, so it's just investing money now. Right. Outside of retirement. Okay, thank you. What else? What else? We're good? Okay. All right, well, that's it. If you have questions, I'll be around too. So if you think of anything,